Today we are going to create this card out of scraps. Well, mostly scraps. You can see this herringbone pattern in the back. Those are all scraps. You can see some of my scraps over here. I had lots of these one inch strips. And so the first thing you need to do is cut those strips into half inch widths. Now, of course, you can do any width that you want. It will just, you know, create a slightly different look. But I'm using half inch strips. And the beauty about this paper is it's double sided. So you get to choose which side and you'll probably actually use both sides. So we've got a bunch of these strips already cut. A couple other things you need for your card. You need a card base. So this is Mossy Meadow, one of my absolute favorite colors. Right. And so there's my card. And then I need a layer. If you notice here, there's a black layer. And so that is a quarter of an inch less in each dimension. So the black layer measures five and a quarter by four inches. And then I need a layer that's a quarter of an inch less in each dimension than that previous black one. And so this black piece measures three and three quarters inches by five inches. So what we're going to do here is start by placing some strips. And again, it, it doesn't really matter which ones you put down first, as long as you sort of pay attention a little bit so that you don't get two next to each other or, you know, you just get some nice complementary colors. So I'm going to sit down here and get started. So I'm just going to take my Tombow Mono liquid glue and I'm actually going to figure out where I want to put it and then I'm going to put a line. I found that this actually worked a little bit better so I didn't get glue off the ends of my paper. And so I just started it here. And again, it doesn't matter quite the angle that you start it on. You're going to be cutting off the edges. doesn't matter. So. And now maybe I want to put this one here, except for I'm going to leave a little bit of a gap just so that black shines through. It just helps things pop off a little bit more. You can certainly butt them right up against each other for a different effect, but that's not what I'm going to do because I want to show you what I did in my card so, so that I don't actually waste too much of my scraps, which kind of seems funny for me to say, wasting my scraps, when half the time I'm overrun by scraps. I'm just going to put these as close to the edge as I possibly can. Now maybe I'm going to pick one of these to come in. So you're going to do three strips, all going parallel to each other. And then it will change. So I have a flower pattern here, so I don't want this flower pattern right next to it. So I'm going to flip it over and use the green side just a little bit more contrast. And yes, I know this has a pattern too, but it's not the same magnolia pattern that's every you know, that's on everything else. So this is the magnolia paper that went with the um, Good Morning Magnolia stamp set, which is such a sweet beautiful stamp set. So I've got that going on. What I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this over and I'm going to trim those edges. This will allow me actually to use these pieces. Not these short little ones though. They're too short. Get that out of the way. And so now that I've got those three parallels done, now I'm going to actually go in a different direction. So I'm going to run perpendicular and again, it doesn't quite matter where you start. You do want to leave that little bit of a gap as you've left on the other ones. Now let's see what, what, uh, what do I want to put here? Now I, I don't really want to put this one here because it's the green next to the green and I don't know. I just have a thing about that. So I think I'm actually going to go back and put this one in there.
and make sure I have the gap in both places here and here and then I have one more spot let's go ahead and put the black piece in there I guess and so here we go and I just usually let that sit for just a second before I trim it now I have three in a row so I'm actually going to start again and I'm going to do three perpendicular to this one that I just did and yes it will be parallel to these guys and that's okay so let's go ahead and And yes, I know I have these two up against each other, but it's just a little, a small little bit. It's fine. The center is going to be actually covered up anyway when we're done. I'm going to put this little green strip in here now. So what you'll notice, and sometimes you'll have this and sometimes you won't, I've got this little bit of a black gap here. You can try to fill that in with a teeny tiny little piece, or you can just say, you know what, it's fine. It'll just be part of the pattern. Black's the color too. Well, technically it's the presence of all colors, right? But see, it doesn't, it could, for all anybody knows that could just be a piece of black paper like this is so it it's fine so I have these three parallel pieces so I need to go perpendicular again so let's see let's try um, now if you run out of, of ends that have um, a right angle on them you can go ahead and just take your paper trimmer and add some more I just cut off those angles you're good to go so let's uh, go ahead and I think I want a dark one I think I want a dark one for my big one here so let's go ahead and put that in here so it does take a little time but it's certainly not that time consuming um, and the result really is quite stunning. So go ahead and experiment. You can mix patterns uh, or, you know, paper packs. You can use regular cardstock. So you can use solids in here, not just patterns. The options really are kind of endless. Here's another piece. So I don't know if you've been following on Facebook that I'm having a little contest or, um, yeah, I guess it's a contest to use up some of your scraps. So this is an idea for you. Um, you don't have to come up with your own idea how to use your scraps. You just have to come up with your own card. So I'd love to see them. I'm gonna have somebody else vote on them. So join in the fun. All right, so let's see. Let's go ahead and I think I need another, hmm, not quite sure here. I'm not, I'm not in love with having that one there. So I think I'm gonna put another green one here. Now, if you're the indecisive type, this might not be the project for you because it's almost a decision every single time that you lay a piece of paper down. I'm almost finished here. There we go. And one more little piece. And what color are we gonna make it? I think, I think we're gonna go with this. 
this, there's not a whole lot of peach on here, so we're just going to put that on there. Okay. And we're going to flip it over. Looks like I got a tag along there. There we go. And there's that piece. We'll just take it and we will layer it onto the larger piece of black cardstock. And you really do want to use the liquid glue for this just because the tape runners tend to just be more work. So there we have that. We're going to put it on the base of our card, our card base. Square it up. There we go. Now all we need to do is add a sentiment. And so I'm going to grab that Good Morning Magnolia stamp set. And I've got a piece of scrap paper here. And here's my little magnolia. I'm going to take the petal pink, which is what the color is right here. I'm going to take petal pink. And I'm going to just stamp that right in there. And then I want to put my words over it. And I'll clean this later, I promise. So I'm going to take the thinking of you sentiment that's in this stamp set. And this, I'm showing you um, one piece of it, but it actually comes in two cases. There's this really big image here and some other words and a little leaf. So it's a really great stamp set. I'm going to take the thinking of you and I'm going to stamp right over the magnolia. Thinking of you. This would make a great sympathy card, but also you can make a, a birthday card, put whatever greeting you want on it, obviously. So now I'm going to move everything off my space because I need to bring my big shot in. And now we're just going to take our adhesive again, put a little bit on here, and center that up. There we go. I'm going to take some dimensionals and add those to the back. this over and of course I would add a piece of, of white in here I'd probably stamp it again with that um, magnolia piece and probably put a sentiment in there as well and there you have it